floor to the World Evangelical Alliance. Thank you, Madam President. The World Evangelical Alliance welcomes the report by the High Commissioner and her emphasis on non-discriminatory health response to COVID-19 pandemics. In many countries, we have seen governments' health responses lacking dialogue with and further stigmatization and discrimination of their religious minorities. In Turkey, Christian citizens were overlooked and uninformed when COVID-related decisions were taken and put in greater disadvantage due to Sunday lockdowns. Unlike mosques, churches were subject to the same restrictions as non-religious associations. We appeal to the government of Turkey to respect the freedom of Christian and other minorities to practice their faith when deciding on pandemic-related restrictions. In Sri Lanka, after reversing the course on COVID-19 victims' mandatory cremation, the government chose a remote island for minority Muslim and Christian communities to hold the victims' burials. Following strong opposition, another remote place of Atamavadi was designated, which still requires long-distance commuting. We call on states to hold a dialogue with their religious minorities to prevent discrimination and rights violation in their pandemic response. And we ask the High Commissioner what good practices of states' inclusive treatment of religious minorities in their pandemic response has she identified? Thank you. Thank you. I give the floor to the China 